and I buy what I like, you know, just like you guys. Uh, you got a ticket, and then my wife like emailed you the location, almost like it was a speakeasy or I'm selling crack. <laughs> And then you guys show up to this like community center and they have this beautiful theater like in a bizarre play. Like right outside there's people just shitting, but you know, like I was just, you know, that's another reason why uh, the uh, powerful people in the world don't like comedians is because we get to travel. And I was just in Denver and they have a giant Satan horse in their airport. And it's in real life, it's terrifying. It's huge and has demon eyes and uh, spikes. And it just looks apocalyptic, right? And so I was telling my friend that I'm like, man, this horse is freaking me out. I think it's some like real Satanist shit. She's like, that's art. <laughs> I guess you don't understand art. I'm like, well, you're an, um, you have an Instagram account. You think you're a photographer and I can play Bach by ear. So I don't know, maybe I do. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and she was like, well, why don't you ask the artist what he meant by it? Because I'm sure you're wrong. I'm like, little known fact, the horse killed his creator. <laughs> That's true. The sculptor of, they call him Blucifer, it's this big giant Satan horse. As he was finishing the horse, this is, all, this is Wikipedia, <laughs> the horse fell on him and killed him. So the city of Denver cleaned off the blood and charged the taxpayers millions to prop it up in front of the Denver airport. And I was forced to perform in a children's museum. <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> you know, it's not the Satan horse, it's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that is